morning beautiful people welcome back to another video so today it is saturday i don't even know what the date is but yesterday was our black friday sales for cocaine and as you guys know from our previous video e pause started the day before honestly i think the sales went really really good so thank you if any of you guys watching purchase from either of our stores but what are we about to do today we are about to go have lunch because we haven't had lunch like as in just like out for a while yeah definitely and um, I'm wearing some brand new. Look how sh white that it's is. So white that it's like. Yeah, it's glowing. like the camera cap has no idea what to do with them. I give it about a week until it's like not brand new and dirty. But I already have another pair on the way, so I'm I'm, I'm kind of okay. I always wear my nice shoes to work, and we smash them all, mm. like all our. Yeah, marshes. we need to stop doing that. Yeah. The warehouse is just so dusty. Like no matter how many times we clean it, mop it, wipe it. It just doesn't go away. I don't understand. Yeah, and Why? like like all our shoes, like all our really, really nice shoes, like we're wearing like our Alexander McQueen's, our St. Laurent's, and stuff like that to the warehouse, and I, I'm working on my car, and I'm like, yeah, that's not really smart. That doesn't sound smart when I say that. It, it sounds loud. pretty bad, actually. Mm. But anyway, our Black Friday sales did really well. We were, uh, I wasn't, I, I wasn't anticipating a really good sale just because I didn't want the brand to lose its uh, value. Value, yeah, that's correct. So that therefore, that's why we did the fifty minutes for fifty percent off, just so people still feel the need. Oh no, like it, it's gonna go, it's gonna disappear. And and Black Friday sales, people know it's for the whole day or the whole weekend or the whole seven days or whatever. And we've never did a sale before, so I was like, you know what? Let's do something super crazy for a super limited period of time. And I. I'm grateful for what happened, but I'm not sure if for future endeavors when we do sales, what are we going to do? Yeah, because it was just like so extreme this time, but I guess we'll see how it goes. I think also in the next video, you'll definitely see us packing so many orders because there was a lot. Like, yeah, like four or five hundred orders. Crazy. Yeah, and and another thing, the reason why we I didn't want to put a percentage mark on it is now, like from, from a brand perspective, you can never ever go lower than that because everyone's expecting that discount to begin with like if you start giving away 70 percent you can't go down to 20 percent because people are like i'll just wait for the 70 percent sale mm. but it's that's also it's like because we never have sales so it's like you know like it doesn't kind of doesn't in a way it doesn't matter because we don't ever have sales mm. it's probably just like a thing that happens once in a year but yes anyways we've been talking for like three minutes so let's, let's start wee. the day I just got myself a boost juice. My go-to order is a mango tango crush and I've been wanting this for how long? Like nearly a month I've always been wanting boost but the one here is always closed. And then how got a Vietnamese iced coffee. Ice coffee. We're still on the hunt for food. We wanted to go to a cafe but they weren't very good. So we ended up going with sushi. We were saying just before, we don't even remember the last time we had sushi. It's been so long. But now they like individually wrap it. Do you reckon because of COVID they do that? No, I don't, were they? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we're sitting in this like cute little area, which I think it's quite pretty. I don't think Hal's enjoying it, but it's really nice. Okay, we're gonna eat. We had our lunch and now we're heading to Costco. This is the second time I've gone to Costco this week. This is the third time. He came here yesterday with Joe and then, oh my God, I'm so close to seagulls. But we are going to my auntie's later on, so I thought maybe we would just get something for the fam to share because Costco has a lot of stuff and we have a lot of people in the family if anyone has a costco membership they've got these really really cool books here now so these are like what are they called um like uh, catwalk books. like table books just for like display settings only and it looks really good on like your coffee table they got a dior one a prada one we actually came the other day and we'll show you guys when we get home but yesterday he said yesterday they had a louis one but now they're sold out already yeah and it's only $48 which is so cheap sad times ahead this is what we wanted to get oh, there's and there's none, none left. left man of course this happens to us as we mentioned whilst we're at Costco can you guys hear that that's what I gotta deal with every day every day this right here anyways as I was saying this is the book we got from Costco the other day. This one is currently sold out, but it's a YSL book. 
it's just perfect for like coffee tables a bookshelf and stuff and i think it's really pretty i honestly haven't even looked inside it yet but i'm so excited i kind of want to go back and get the dior one just because i like the color it's like a nice gray color honestly if they had an all white one instant buy but yes if you guys are into these type of books and things like that just for like display purposes definitely head to costco i'm going to open this one for the first time oh my god there's just like so many photos and cool images Honestly, I probably am not going to read it, but as I said, it just looks hella cute. And we just have it displayed right behind us at the moment. It kind of goes well with this cause like statue. Let me show you. It's just like randomly placed here with the cause ones. As you guys can see, it kind of flows. And we also have a pink bait book, which I reckon will look really cool. So maybe I'll need to get like a bookshelf or something. We can put like a bookshelf over there and make a nice little setup. But I'm so happy with this. Also, our daily vlogging is about to start soon too. I'm pretty sure in like four days or so. So I can't wait to finally put up the Christmas tree. I still have to go grab some last minute lights and a couple more balls because I don't have enough for the size of the Christmas tree. But what I'm thinking is I am going to move that plant over there and I want to put the Christmas tree and set up there. I might put that plant here because I think that's where it used to be and there's just like all this dead space here. So look out for that. That is gonna be the end of the video. I realized we didn't even vlog anything because we ended up going to my auntie's house and she actually bought a house whilst COVID was happening with her partner and we all finally got to go visit. I realized there was like 16 of us in the family and we hadn't seen each other since like all year, which is crazy. We kind of, once the restrictions started easing, I was able to go to my grandma's, see my uncles and aunties slowly. Like we take it one at a time though. So none of us all caught up in a big group, which was really fun and good. We just had like a barbecue outside and chilled. But something I learned from my little cousin in primary school, I don't know if it's just his primary school or all primary schools in general, I found it so strange, is that they do not have canteens anymore. Like, you can't go and get a lunch order, you can't bring like a dollar to school and go get a bag of lollies or some chips or a Sunny Boy. Anybody remember getting Sunny Boys and JJ chicken snacks? Oh my goodness. So, I learned that which was wild and... I kind of feel sad for them like the, the the times has changed so much and I don't know if it's just because I feel like I'm really really old saying this but I don't know it's just weird and I feel like kids these days don't even know milk bars or anything but yes I was just so amazed that they don't have that and they also did a sleepover at their school because they couldn't go on camps this year which is also wild but Today's comment notification shout out goes to all things DIY thank you so much for following our journey what I actually learned from their comment i don't know if it's a girl or a guy but they were so inspired inspired that they started their own online business because of us so i'm so so thankful that you're watching us commenting and yes shout out to you all things diy if you guys want a comment video shout out in our next video make sure you just comment down below and give this video a thumbs up that's all you gotta do i will see you guys on I think it's going to be on Tuesday. Is it on Tuesday? I will see you guys on Tuesday for our very, very first Vlogmas daily vlogging edition. It's going to be so fun. So see you guys then. Hope you are staying well and safe. Bye, guys.